today this is a Super Zamanga Barbecue, and we're at the end of Rivals Clash. And guess who won? The LA Kings. No, I'm kidding. It's the Black Horse. The Black Horse won. If you haven't claimed yours yet, you need to do that within the next day. I think you've got another day from... It was just under a day from when I'm actually claiming these now, which is about 9 o'clock UK time in the evening. Uh, basically, the uh, Blackhawks won. As a result, um, basically, you get uh, the different rewards that were available to you. I wanted to first of all shout out a couple of people at the top of the rankings. And the first one, I want to say a big shout out to Smizzy, the first ever number one. And he is uh, in the legendary tier, which is awesome for him as well. You also have Sean, original six. Now, he is actually Poison Vaughn on the uh, WWE edition of Supercard. So he has been a big player ever since the beginning of that game as well. So it's awesome to see him on here as well. I also know he just got himself another pro epic card for the Blackhawks, which is amazing. Uh, Double D and J24. I like that it shows you what side they've gone for uh, as well. That's really awesome. If they can implement it to the other games, that'd be really great. Because uh, it'd be great to see which idiots go for some of the crap cards in WD Supercard. Double D, J24, representing Team UK, Monkey Magic, Remy Kell, Bad News Bread, CFC Mick, Mick, yo, Pram Raj, uh, X Stevers, uh, XXRM3, XX, XXX, uh, Red Phoenix, Velez, uh, Delay One, Cool Beans, Mark Ratingen, how you doing, dude? Uh, Ammo, Red Wings, uh, Johnny Dixon, Vu, Johnny Uva, Crimson Reap, Stevie Y. Nice. Should I just do this all like really dramatic and make it? Let, let's do it. Corn, Ryan, Paige Sapu, Brittany, G Balls, Chopper 5, Hosen Kaka, YTO3, TJJ. So good, you had to say the J twice. Uh, Diet Dr. Pepper, Lucas Boggs, Gurgit Callum, Mark Fregtech. How you doing, man? Uh, Michael Panthers, Saxonov, Lars Arapanza, NYR fan 1994, Andrew Rob, who I said, Robert, because it's in capitals, um, Starry Days. Draco from Hell, XXNHL, XX, Team USA to finalize the top 50. That was a bit weird. And I've stuffed the dog. That's how my, how loud I'm talking in a moment. <laughs> so I apologize if I burst your eardrums. If you're in the top 50, let me know in the comment section below. It'd be awesome to give you guys a shout out in the future. And let me know if you're going to go for the next Rivals Clash top 50. That'd be amazing to see if you guys could actually get up there again. So now, I did make a late push for the top 100, but as you can see, I played about 20 points outside of it. It's not as big a deal as it looks because I've got a few epic cards myself. Not got a concern at all. The reason why I'm not got a concern is because to get into that, I would have had to have had at least 5,200 points. That's so bad for Kaiser Sakic. He's literally four points away. And frankly, he was only one point ahead of him. So it's kind of crazy how quickly it got there. But I've got some leveling up to do. I was luckily not in that position. I'm going to get my rewards, which are going to be two of the <laughs> Jeremy Ronick. And there's a, there's a funny, funny, funny part about this in a second, which you guys are going to love. Because everyone likes to see me get rigged. So my two Jeremy Ronicks coming to me right now. Number one and number two. There we go. Love it. First legendary pro. Uh, this is awesome. So what we're going to have here, I oh, still claim rewards still. Uh, not sure why it's saying that. So I'm going to lock those in. And here comes the rig. So yesterday I decided to open myself a legendary pack. Guess what I got in the legendary pack? Yeah, that's right, guys. I got myself a Jeremy Roenick. Absolutely unreal. And to be honest with you, I literally just went fucking face palm seriously it was one of those moments where you go where it serves you freaking right three legendary cards is better than no legendary cards at the end of the day so i'm not going to be too sour about it because i'm going to feel the power i'm joking um but 
basically having the three centers but I've already got another center over here and Patrice uh, Bajeron is so much better uh, honestly I just will stick with my Jeremy Ronix for the pro and then if I can get another one that'd be amazing and it helps me in seasons as well get into legendary tier because I'm not far away from into legendary tier so what we're going to do is actually play some uh, quick game exhibition, whatever you want to call it. Before I do that, I've got to manage my season and an epic uh, seasons. I'm just going to level up, uh, put some energy on a couple of my cards. There we go. And I'm going to play some quick game. Uh, let me know where you actually finished off in the Rivals Clash in the comment section. And if we could aim to get this video 95 likes, that would be awesome from all you great NHL fans. Or even if you're donating Supercar fans or my NBA fans. At the end of the day, wherever you are, you are and you're actually watching this channel, you are awesome. And that's all I have to say. I have my uh, my second Epic Pro actually in my lineup, which I haven't shown you guys yet. Uh, which is my uh, my Sedin, which I got leveled up as well. I'm just going to chuck in uh, the... Uh, I might lose this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to lose this one. Uh, yeah, no, I actually won. Patrice. Good job, Patrice. Uh, focus on playmaking. I'm going to suck in. Uh, here we go. My uh, Daniel Sedin against Matt Molson and Trevor Daly with my random rare card to sandbag. Uh, because I was, I have actually lost a couple of games. But I actually got a perfect win against Audio Jump. Uh, Audio Jump is going to take the loss for me. Uh, I, I don't know how the pulls work on this, but... I played quite a few games before my um, Ultra Airport and then went straight to Epic after uh, uh, Rivals Clash. So I'm kind of happy that uh, I'm, I should be getting my Epic pull at some point soon. Probably when I go up to Epic Plus, which is going to be once I get these guys leveled up and I get my Legendaries leveled up as well. Because at the moment I'm really struggling to win games uh, with just the normal cards as they are. Uh, this should be an easy win. Yeah, Ben Bishop going to come to the rescue. Ben Bishop not being leveled is affecting me quite a lot as well. Uh, let's chuck in the. Say what? Let's chuck in the two uh, sandbag cards. Uh, because if I went in with the full card, I would have got my ass kicked. Uh, let's put in this guy here. It should be a win. Yep. Yeah. Kevin Bixa. Is it Bixa? Bixa. I'm not sure. Uh, but Justin Williams comes away with the win. And there we go. So that's going to be that game over with. I'm in a Mishinek. Marco Scandella. Um, I actually released my first ever video of me playing a game on the PC. Now, I know you're saying, well, why do you lie all this time? You're playing on the PC now. Well, I'm playing on a PC now, but I'm playing a game that is a PC game. You know, it's not a PC game. I was playing Star Wars Battlefront, and I've actually linked it into the description below. It also should show up along the video at some point. But basically, my um, I wanted to play a PC game for you all for ages, and it was the best opportunity for me to do so whilst the Battlefront was in beta. The other good thing is that I believe that I will have early access to the game through EA Access on the 12th of November, which is going to be great, and I'll be streaming that and recording that for my Xbox One, which I'm really looking forward to. That is going to be awesome. Um, let's take that, PlayStation fans. I'm not dissing you guys, by the way. <laughs> That's going to be another perfect 9-0. to zero X Bill Fry X is done. Uh, the dog needs to shut the hell up. Uh, Matt Green at the end. There you go. Okay, so let's get into the next game. Hockey child. Hockey child. Hockey child is going to get turned down. I played him earlier on. He should be okay. Uh, let's put in the legendary Patrice Bergeron. I can say his name properly now, guys. I'm getting there. <laughs> oh, <it's> so sad. <laughs> Let's check in against Jack Johnson, who I've got the legendary of. Actually, I'll show you guys the updated legendaries as we go on. Uh, hopefully, we can get the uh, perfect shutout. Yeah, we're going to get another perfect shutout, which is awesome. Uh, Hockey Child going down seven to zero. I predicted it. I told you guys. I told you. Uh, uncommon playbook. Uh, going to get Chris Kader to reset the board and Jason Demers. Uh, I'm going to play this guy here, Wars 101 stuff. Uh, let's get him done out of the way. Uh, focus. Uh, should be a win. Yeah, it should be a win. He's done something very similar with his Drew Doughty to my Patrice Bergeron, not leveled up properly. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, another set of legendaries. Interesting. Is this a bot? I hope it isn't. Uh, no, it's not. It shouldn't be a bot, I don't think. Anyway, uh, but I'm going to lose anyway. 
Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to get a perfect win. Nice. Another perfect win. I'm going to roll. Uh, let's get uh, Nathan Bielo and David Pastranak and Connor Murphy. Let's go after a guy. Got any guys in Legend in uh, Epic? Not yet, so we go after Nick because Nick's a good guy. Uh, there we go. Uh, obviously, let me know what you thought about my uh, video of. Um, <clears throat> Also, I know what you thought about my video with Kill Moose Kill Me and Kill Moose Kill had a really awesome, I thought anyway, video uh, which was around the Rivals Cash grind last night. Let me know what you thought about it. Maybe you think we should be doing that on a weekly basis, maybe every other week. I don't know. You tell me because you are the guys who watch my content. So if you would like us to see, to see us do that on a weekly basis, then we'll do it on a weekly basis because we listen to you guys. Uh, and we both did an individual video uploading stuff and uh, it seems to be well received. But it was a little bit long, I will say that. So it's, it's more for the grind. Uh, so if you are grinding, um, I mean, would you like it to be on a Saturday? Would you like it to be on a Friday, the day it comes out? Let me know again, just if you get any uh, kind of feedback would be amazing. Uh, we're going to close this out with a couple of additional games to two more games, this game and one more, and then we're going to get done. Uh, what do you think the event is going to be this week? Because obviously I'm going to be doing a video later on from the event in WWE Supercar, which is going to be a PCC, which is obviously going to be against Rivals Clash. Do you think they're going to do another Rivals Clash in, um, in NHL? Or do you think that they are going to uh, do a Road to the Championship? Or is it going to be a brand new event that's exclusive for uh, NHL? Uh, this guy's got the Jeremy Roenick, uh, which he's not leveled up fully. So I get the win, and I'm going to again get the win here. That Corey Crawford guy, that goalkeeper, I'm amazed I gave him away for free. Because he is like one of the best goalkeepers. In fact, I think he's the best goalkeeper in um, Ultra Rare, which is like crazy. And they're just giving him away for free. It's like a massive like advantage to anyone who's played the games to get him. Let's get one more game out of the way. I've not lost a game this time, but I have lost a few games in uh, in to the last couple of days, uh, just leveling up and stuff like that. And I, I've just realised you cannot, uh, you can't do the same now, which I had beforehand. I can't put my full deck deck strength in. If I put my legendary and epic cards in, I end up literally again completely screwed. Uh, this guy's just got the win. I think I just have to see if I can. Uh, make sure I don't lose here. I will be fine. It's an ultra rare versus an epic, so it'll be cool. Uh, there we go. So that's going to be it for today's episode. Four to three against Louis. Almost, almost to a loss. Very, very close. Uh, Dan Cleary and also Yannick Weber are rare to clear the board as we end the video. So thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome evening, awesome afternoon. And again, let me know about what you thought about our finale video, which was yesterday in the comment section below, as well as where you finished, again, which is in the comment section below. If we can go for 90 likes, that would be a great great achievement with NHL because it's just starting off with the game. Uh, we've got a new streak going, 70, 7, 80, and 8. Let's get me some hype likes for that. And congrats to everyone who finished in the top 50. I almost said 75 then because it's super card, but whatever. Top 50, congratulations to everyone who finished that. Congratulations if you got exactly what you wanted. And most importantly, you know what's coming up. Zoliva! That actually hurt my throat.